Whatever, whatever. That's better, that's better. Anyway. <laughs> Pronunciation of everyone's tag is key strides. I hope you know that. <laughs> I know. It's Three, two, anyway. One, PS2, game one, typical. <laughs> typical stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this isn't the first time we've seen Rocky actually at MSM Online. This is actually going to be his second appearance here. And of course, Ape of Man, kind of a bit of a fan favorite of the MSM Online. We usually see him in top eight here. And of course, he's battling for that spot yet again. Uh, honestly, I'm going to be real with you all. I feel like this matchup is even. But I can't even put it into full words why it's even. But I just think Rob's ability to kind of have a really great opportunity to zone Pac-Man out better than Pac-Man can zone Rob, like so, oh my God. <laughs> is a good demonstration of why this matchup is possibly Dude, even or in Pac-Man's favor. I'm sorry, Rob. Even with the weak laser, even with the weak laser, you died. I think it was just because he was right in the blast zone too, to where if you didn't get touched in that spot, you just died. So that was just a really good snipe for me, man. Yeah. But yeah, I, I agree. Like. Not only can Rob Edgeguard pretty well, he also has good projectiles that can deal with the hydrant. I think the fully charged laser even goes through the, the hydrant, so like if he stays on the other side of it. Yeah. Oh, oh nice finish, Yep. And it was weird too, because I didn't see the water box actually push him away from the hydrant. So that was kind of strange. And that's kind of one of those things that Rob does have against Pac-Man's specific projectile that is the hydrant. Is he's able to knock it down pretty easily. This is gonna be a nice setup here on the platform. No tech. Into an upper, a second one. 8-bit man is on flames right now. Yeah, good thing he has he knows how to DI that up here, because <laughs> you don't want to die super early, but nice tech chase here. Send him from the other from one corner of the stage to the next. Okay. I, I, that's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. Teching online is really, really difficult to do on timing. Yeah. It's uh, one of the things that can get people to die even earlier than usual, but you always got to yeah. be ready for it. Okay. Speaking of dying earlier than usual here, Ape Man was the one holding a lead, and Rocky is slowly coming back. Good Zara drop set up here, but unfortunately, the last hit of the bell is going to stun Ape Man and keep him on the left side. Tough trade here for Ape Man because he's able to get the fire hydrant out. Takes back neutral, takes back center stage. This man is making all the right plays into this grab, into the down throw. Does he get the up there? Yes, he does. Yeah. You gotta have a super quick mash and an air dodge to avoid getting killed by that. Okay, he has the hydrant at the ledge. Nope, Baby Man's gonna get that easy get up attack. Okay, what's he gonna do with the bill? Yeah, oh, good, good for Baby Man. That was a really good idea with the down smash to cover roll, but he just barely mistimed it. I think if yeah. he charged it a little bit longer, would have got it. And Nathan Man waited for that last second of opportunity to actually go for the getup. Ooh, tough call there. I like the neutral air thinking, but unfortunately it does not go through Bell. All the way at least. Oh, nice setup yep. from Pac-Man. Yeah, this forces the jump here. Yeah, but Nathan Man is playing around these traps really well. He's, he's not falling for it as easily as a Rocky would hope. Yeah, he's gonna jump over the hydrant. Like, all right, that's cool. That's a nice setup, but I, I'm out of here. Great up smash out of shield. Yeah, that laser is going through the hydrant's really good. Oh but, yeah, no! Ape Man's gotta stop using the the arm rotor on that. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say Ape Man did much waiting. better. Yeah, Ape Man did way better. Yeah, he is waiting for him to do it, and I think he did better when he went for down tilt instead of arm rotors. Yeah. Just too much in lag on that, and it doesn't seem like it destroys the hydrant uh, quick enough for it to be worth. It. Oh, That's nice scary. parry from Rocky. Oh, man, he wanted to get something started with the Galaga, but he just <laughs> traded with the Gyro, and then that's the big up smash out of shield. Don't mess with that hitbox. It's way and, too big. Yeah, it's huge, but not only that, it was a really good situation where, where the the Gyro was actually in that situation because that forced Rocky to evaluate, do I want to jump? And if I jump, I can't get caught by the up smash. If I don't jump... I might get caught by the other special, and if I move forward, there is the uh, gyro there in that situation. So Ape and Man takes game one. Yeah, pretty solid game one for Ape and Man. He just looks really uh, keen to a lot of these Pac-Man traps. To be honest, it's it's not looking easy for Rocky to take him by surprise with these hydrant setups or the, even like the bell setups, really. Yeah, and even then, when you look at the voting here for everybody who casts their vote on, if you guys are watching the VOD back at home and you want to participate live, 
twitch.tv forward slash 2G gaming. You already know. But the votes here have 65% Ape Man will take the set with Rocky out of 35. So uh, game one going to Ape Man definitely sets that story in motion. Yeah, Ape Man is very consistent. Like, I think I've said like every week now that he's continued to get into these close to top eight or either top eight itself of matches. Um, that, a lot of that stems from not only him being really a route player, but he's just very experienced in a lot of these matchups too. So definitely yeah, coming all the way from Brawl too. Like he was a Brawl player, he was a Smash Four player, and now he still continues, you know, to be one of the best Rob mains, even in Ultimate. Yeah, definitely. But much better start for Rocky right now. Yeah, and Pac-Man, you know, with a little bit of a lead like this, can definitely work with a lot more. Okay, using the bell against him a little bit. Release some pressure on the edge, but uh, Rocky's still in a really good spot. Yep, so it's going to let him get the gyro out. Okay. Yeah, Ape Man's going to respect the bell. Don't want to get stunned there. At least not at this percent. Ooh, Ooh double back, back there. there. So strong. Yeah, it's so, so strong. strong, and the hitbox lasts for quite some time. Unfortunately, oh. getting caught by the bell here is the stun that Rocky needs to be the equalizer. Yeah, very good for him to not let Ape Man get any extra percent on that stock. Just even things up as quick as possible. Okay, so use the hydrogen to charge the fruit a little bit here. Good for, like good for Ape Man to go for the forwarder there, specifically on the hydrogen, just because he wanted that quote unquote third projectile with the hydrant being bounced back to Rocky. Yeah, Rocky making great use of the Galaga there. A lot of percent. Nice, fair out of shield, getting the cherry on top too. <laughs> no, no pun no intended. Pun. That was not a pun. Like, I, <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying that was a really good extension using the cherry. Okay. Ape Man trying to fight back a little bit here. But uh, yeah, Rocky's movement looking a lot cleaner in this game. Cleaner indeed here. They're landing forward there. Not enough to get through the shield. I like the Ape Man oh. being very cautious of Rocky holding the bell this time. Oof. Oh, you say that, but he literally just threw the bell right in his face. Like, yeah, I don't care, man. You're not going to block this. <laughs> All right. Sometimes the best plan is no plan, man. He kind of caught Ape Man scheming there with a lot of projectiles in his face, but he oh. almost gets the rotor there from the, from the Z drop. Good awareness from Rocky. He saw what Ape Man was going for there. Okay. Yep, keep using the hydrogen at the ledge. Very good at covering the low recoveries off stage. Oh, nice catch. He not only like kicked the hydrant to avoid getting hit, but he also caught the gyro too. Yeah. Oh, I'm out of here. <laughs> He's like, let me get this <laughs> I'm not gonna play on the platform. Oh, nice free catch. I like Ooh, that. Really good I pressure. like that from Ape Man too. He got out of the ledge because the shield was looking really low. Had he kept holding it, that pressure from Rocky throwing the hydrant could have caused the shield break. Yeah, that was actually really good for Ape Man to get out of that situation and even get the stock for it. There's the bell though, doesn't get the stun. A little bit greedy on that force smash. Ooh, okay. Opportunity to get a snipe is gonna go low. <laughs> oh no, he just got down it for free, man. Ape Man will never miss that two frame. Oh, I don't even most... think that was a two frame, really. I, no, he that just was... had all the time in the world to just to spike him. That's why that hitbox is huge. Oh, man. I think the only thing Rocky could have done 